Hey guys, we're back for another Totally Book Sense this Friday. Uh, just thought you would know, this book was released on Tuesday and you should probably go get it. I have yet to read it because I was really busy on Tuesday, but... And this is Wednesday, by the way, I'm filming on Wednesday as usual, but I'm so excited. Plus, I'm back at res, so uh, back to school. Anyways, this week we're talking about what we love and hate in a villain. My list isn't going to be too long and it's going to be kind of predictable because I feel like a lot of people have like similar thoughts about these villains. The main big thing is I love to see villains who have proper motivation. I want to see where they're coming Not exactly like, sure they have a mysterious where they're coming from type of thing. But I would love to know, like know that there's more than more of a motivation than just like owning everything or killing everyone or just being evil. I want to see why they're evil, what made them evil, something like that. So I want to see a motivation. Uh, I love three-dimensional villains. It is probably, when I come across them, I just like fall in love with them. Like, sure, I'll hate them in the book, but as a character in themselves, I would just love them. Um, so three-dimensional definitely goes hand in hand with um, motivation, but also um, complex, unpredictable. I love villains like that and when they surprise me that is like a big thing I don't like the villains that are just totally predictable like oh those people those kids are hiding over there we're gonna send an entire army and just shoot them all well yeah but still give me something that I'm surprised with or I want villains to be smart too I love smart villains they're like um I like smart characters in general but when you make the bad guy smart it just brings together the story so much more and makes it so much more interesting when the characters have to stay on their toes to be one step ahead of the villain that's just more interesting um i want okay i read two quotes not quotes really but like trains of thoughts from two different places but i'm not exactly sure where it is the first one is that your villain should always be some part of yourself you should always be able to see a part of yourself in the villain to like this is like an author advice type of thing but i completely agree like you can't just have a flat character you just stick out there you're like you know what i'm gonna give every single bad quality to that villain you can't it has to be part of yourself to make it a real person or to make it feel real or else it's just not gonna work and the second part is that the villain should be the most developed character in the story and while i don't necessarily um agree with that because obviously i am always on the team of the hero and heroine but um i love it when villains are really well developed so there you go lastly i want the villain to be to serve as something that is more than just there for the sake of being there like in a dystopian i don't want the bad guy to be there just because you know what they need conflict we'll throw in a bad guy that just does evil things to them for no reason that's not gonna work for me i want them to be genuinely part of a conflict uh, lastly, since this video is going to be kind of short, I want to list off a couple of my favorite villains. The first is Lene from Plain K by Aaron Bow. He's just, at first I wasn't even sure what to think about it, and then you see what happened to him, you get some of his history, and you're like, you sympathize with him almost, and you see some of the things he does, and you're like, how can I sympathize with a character that's so bad but still, that's just, that's just like the genius of it. So Lene from Plain Kate. The second one is, this one's kind of off because he plays such a small role but I feel like his role's gonna expand so much more and he's on the side of the bad guys but you're not even sure because he does some things that definitely surprise me and I was like, it makes me question it. But then it's Damalo from Blood Red Road by Maura Young. You'll, you'll remember it, he plays like a small role but he plays some vital, he does some vital things. So I'm so excited to see where it goes. The third and final one that just, like, these are the three that always pop into my head when I think villains, and this one is my absolute favorite. You do not understand how much I love this villain, because sometimes I was like, is he even a villain? Because he does so much heroic things. He leads an entire army into battle, and he fights for the good side, yet he does some atrocious things as well. So he's so complex that I'm hesitating calling him a villain. He's just, like, a crazy good character. But it's Mayor Prentice from the Chaos Walking series by Patrick Ness. He's just brilliant. There is no other word for it. I'd love to know what your favorite villains are. Leave them in the comments, and I'll see you tomorrow, Gabrielle. Bye!